Good day, I am Dr. William Blizzard, and I am recounting my interview by Michael Sadler in his House of Commons on the 21st of May, 1832, regarding child labour in working factories around Britain, and I will be specifically on some points known as the female body. And my first point is, when he asked me that, yes, the factories do employ female workers, and they are liable to present and permanent injury by improper treatment at some periods of their development. And the first part is that the bones are not permanently formed at such a young age. Thus, they don't take as much stress as, um, as a mature age, these bones take much less stress. And, but as a child, on the pressure of the thigh bones, on the standing up all day, they can have the pelvis, the entire pelvis of the female, bend inward. And though it does not prevent procreation, it will most likely produce a deadly consequences either to the mother or the child, when the period. And the next, of the children of eight or nine, they should not be allowed in such places because, not only because of the damage to the bones, but also because of the foreign materials of the bone, of the flues, and the dust coming off the machines. And this would constitute additional hardship in the regards of the hands of these employed children. And enlarging on this, in the separated raw material, it's a foreign body to the lung system. And these foreign objects can pollute they can pollute the small blood vessels of the lungs, which can cause damage to breathing and speaking. And even so, with these small flues going into the system, the lungs are the gateway to the body in terms of foreign materials. When they go in, they can spread through the blood vessels of the lungs. And so, when these foreign materials come in and pollute the lungs, they can also pollute the entire system in such a way that even though it may have just been the dust and the flues, it could also have made, I don't know, joint problems, arthritis, many things would make it worse. And with the lungs, of course, you need a certain quantity of the pure air, and in these conditions, it is not capable of finding an acceptable source of income for breathing. So, of course, children cannot survive or live a healthy lifestyle under these conditions. And that is why children, at least, at least under eight or nine, should not be allowed in such places.